Hello and welcome to Programming for Beginners, a series for those people who have always wanted to learn computer programming but did not know where to start or what they needed to do before they started. My aim by the end of this series is to take you, someone who may have programmed before or someone who's never ever touched any sort of computer code in their life, to someone who is then able to create whatever they want using computer programming. So one of the first things you'll be asking yourself is what will I actually need? And believe it or not, there's actually not that much. A lot of things in the computing world are based around mathematics, so you will need a basic grasp on mathematics. Just basic things like multiplication, division, nothing too complicated. You're also going to need a lot of patience. A lot of the things that do go wrong in computer programming are just extremely simple things that you would have never thought of, so you do need to be patient with yourself sometimes. And the most obvious one, of course, you will need a computer. It doesn't matter what operating system it's running, it could be on Windows, Mac, or Linux, you should be fine either way. You don't need an overly powerful computer either. Just as long as it runs daily tasks perfectly fine, then you should be okay. When you work on a project, the first thing you need to decide is what programming language you're going to use. A programming language is an artificial language made to send instructions to a machine, and they're primarily used to create computer software, as you might have guessed. Examples of these include C, C Sharp, C++, Swift, Java, Python, and many, many more. And all of these languages have their own pros and cons. For this series, we will be using Java. Reasons for this is that it's easy compared to languages such as C and C++. However, it's still conventional, unlike Python, which doesn't use curly braces or semicolons, and it's also widely used. Java is used in Android, ATMs, it was used to make Minecraft, and Java programmers are some of the highest paid. The most important thing is actually learning these programming concepts rather than the programming language itself. Because at the end of the day, once you've learned one programming language, it's very, very easy to learn another. The series will entail of approximately 25 videos, maybe more as time goes on. I'd like to also make an acknowledgement to the book Think Java, How to Think Like a Computer Scientist. A wonderful book on Java and computer science in general, and I'd definitely recommend it. The source code for each video's project will also be provided so that if you run into any errors, it'll be much easier for you to spot your mistake when you're looking at my code side by side. If you're still running into issues, then instead of commenting code in the YouTube comments section, go ahead and take screenshots and then email me at queries at evh98.com and I can guarantee you'll get a much faster and constructive response that way. Another question you might be asking yourself is, okay, once I've learned computer programming, where can I go from there? Well, there's a good few routes that you can go down. The first one is you can learn how to make 2D games for desktop, iOS, Android, and the web through my old series, How to Make a 2D Game. Like I mentioned earlier, Android is also developed in Java, so you can learn how to make native Android apps through Android App Development for Beginners by The New Boston, which is available on YouTube. Like I also said, once you've learned one language, it's very easy to learn another. So you could go ahead and learn how to create native iOS apps using the Swift language from The New Boston's iOS Development with Swift tutorial, which is also available on YouTube. Again, you can go ahead and use C Sharp to create desktop, iOS, Android, and console 3D games using Brachies' Unity tutorial create a survival game, also available on YouTube. Feel free to let these guys know that I sent you. And that's it for this introduction video. In the next video, we'll go ahead and get our computer set up and run our very first computer program. Have a fantastically brilliant day, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.